My name is Zai Wei. I'm an assistant professor of management in the Craner School of Management at Purdue University. So I am in the uh, management information systems area. I uh, focus my uh, research on the economics of information systems. Topic wise, I look at uh, crowdfunding, um, online reviews, peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer markets, uh, that related stuff. Okay. So uh, I want to talk about one project. I'm working with two researchers um, at the University of Arizona. So uh, basically the idea is that the emergence of financial technologies, various financial technologies or fintech in general leads to a rise of uh, many disruptive financial markets. Peer-to-peer -peer lending or P2P lending is one of these um, um, uh, disruptive financial markets. Studying questions in this market is one of my long-term research interests. Uh, I have published a paper in Management Science comparing two commonly used transaction mechanisms in P2P lending. A typical funding process starts with a borrower posting a loan request on, the, on, on an online platform. It follows with a period of time opening to funding, um, usually one or two weeks. So during this period of time, any interested lenders can <clears throat> commit any proportion of the loan demand. Once the borrower receives the full funding or receives enough money, the request will transfer to an, uh, a fully amortized personal loan with pre-specified terms. So lenders will receive their returns um, in the form of interest payment. In this new paper, I'm working with two researchers at the University of Arizona. We focus instead on the participant side of the market. So uh, a trend in P2P lending is that institutional investors start to dominate the supply of funds. So especially in the US, the leading platforms, Lending Club and Prosper, both witnessed an outburst of institutional investment in recent years. On the positive side, institutional investors uh, may lead to more competition among lenders, which might lead to lower interest rates for borrowers. In addition, institutional investors allow for much easier scaling of lending platforms. So for example, um, you can imagine that it's much easier to raise a million dollars from one hedge fund um, company than $100 from 10,000 individual retail investors. Um, on the other hand, many people believe that retail investors provide a more stable source of funds than institutional investors, especially during financial crisis. So to determine uh, the impact of institutional investors, we investigate three questions in this paper. Um, so we use a unique data set from one of the leading platforms, Prosper.com, to um, first to describe how institutional investors and retail investors choose which loans to fund. We then study how borrowers are affected by institutional investors. Last but not least, um, <clears throat> we study whether institutional investors crowd out or exploit retail investors. So interestingly, our primitive results find that institutional investors prefer higher quality loans uh, that are usually less risky in terms of default they bid less aggressively so that their loans have higher interest rates on average. Um, more important, we find evidence of institutional investors crowding out retail investors. So peer-to-peer um, -peer markets are transforming uh, finance. So uh, despite the peer-to-peer -peer moniker, uh, non-peer institutional investors um, have grown to dominate most of the uh, loan purchases that drive the market. Okay, so we believe that it's important to study the institutionalization of the market. Um, it, will be, uh, it will be very helpful for us to understand whether uh, regulators, platforms, uh, retail investors or borrowers should encourage or discourage um, the participation by institutional um, investors. 